Hello folks, you might remember me. I haven't done this for quite some time. Anyway, let's get straight down to business. Over here is Ant from Gas Kings. Hello. All right. Hello. I've got such a big face, oh, look at Yeah, you do, very, very big. <gasps> yeah, your one's bigger than mine. Definitely yours one's bigger than mine. Anyway, what are you it doing? Is, isn't it? Yeah, what are you doing? Here? I've brought Maggie down with me. Maggie. Maggie the Merc. Maggie the Maggie Merc. The Merc. So we've got Lucille. Okay. She's walking dead. Yeah. A bit of a weapon, Megan. Boom. The family mobile. That is going to be the motorway mileage cruncher. So it's like 55 miles per gallon, four seats, five seats. I'm all about actually comfortable because the jet can't really fit in the back of the GTR anymore. She's growing. So we have that. Basically, the uh, beetle we had, someone crashed into the side of it. They uh, did us on the insurance, two and a half grand. We picked out from eBay, two and a half grand. Barking, and now he feels absolutely epic. So yeah. They can work their magic on it and uh, transform it to make it look a bit more newer, a bit more kind of cooler, and uh, yeah, we should make a fun. <gasps> Guys, don't know. It's a Mercedes B class. It's a B200 AMG. Um, B200 AMG. Getting to patch. Oh, it's getting to patch. Cut that. Okay. We're not cutting that. Out. Yeah. We're not cutting that out at all. So it was Mercedes' first MPV. It kind of feels like it. It does feel like a little bit like a bus when you drive it. It does feel it. like a bus. It's Do like not... jelly. Then you turn the sugar like. It is. It is quite wobbly. Um, it's basically an A class, but. Well, I was going to say on the diet, but it's easy. Do you know what? I feel privileged to drive it because obviously with the um, with the, with the GTR, you put your foot down, you might as well have your petrol cap open. It's like, big on fuel. With this one, like, oh my God, I can actually get places and still have fuel left. It's yeah, amazing. It is Absolutely pretty amazing. amazing. Uh, two litre diesel. Um, what was it? 140 horsepower? You've missed a couple of zeros off. It's like 1,400. Oh, 1,400. It, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And um, <laughs> this is the SE spec this car. This is something that your nan would be proud of. But you wait until we finish. We're going to rice my ride proper style in there. It's going to look good once I have customs work the magic on it. It's yeah. going to look good. Exactly. Unlike some of the videos, you've had TG with the Ferrari F12, you had Shmi 150 with the Cayman GT4, and now you've got Gas Kings who's With brought, Maggie? Yeah, with Maggie. Maggie the B class. You don't need money to travel around in style. Look, so you've got the, uh, you've got the 458 behind. Speciali, beautiful the, uh, car. They got the 12C. Got there. 12C, yeah. Got this. Look, that, who'd want that? Look how big it is. And, that, and then you got this. See, see what I mean? Are you... uh, uh, so... Can I have a look inside? Can yeah. I have a look inside? Yeah. Tints are being done as we speak. Um, cool. Bloody hell, I like the upholstery in here. Um, See, if you look at the centre console, obviously with the stereo, we went for the newer unit because obviously the model was just a little bit before this, had the tape deck in there. Okay. We've gone for because obviously you can tell it's a really good Mercedes. It's got that like little glass kind of dash. For That's the radio. it. Let me let me uh, pop the camera through it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That Ooh, is really nice. You sure it's um, you sure it's not the standard radio and not the nav? It's cool. Where are you going? But yeah, uh, oh, it's an auto. Have you got a sport button? Yes, mate, of course I've got a sport button. Comfort and button. sport button. It's got sport and comfort. Oh, what wow. What more could you ask? Look at that interior as well. Some people go for leather. That's an optional upgrade right there. Oh, it's an optional extra. And look, if you see where you can put the cups in the middle. Oh, yeah. Chrome detailing. Chrome detailing around the cup holders. Oh, yeah, I quite like that. I do quite like that. Um, I quite like the handbrake as well, too. Yeah, I like um, how worn the leather is on it. Um, What's even better is, right? Take this out. Take this out. When I get places, I'm like, oh, God, you just have a GTR. And a Mercedes, yeah. And a Mercedes. And a club car, but yeah, and a Mercedes. No, That's fine, club car. That just makes you kill Can I come into the yeah, VIP exactly. lounge? Club car. You shop at Tesco's, you don't shop at M&S. Oh. That's only like when we need the cheap stuff that the other porters can't afford. And then we go to the Waitrose. This is a challenge and a half.
situation update on the Merc B class. I'll give you a little tour around. As you can see, front wing has been done. Also, full car tints has been done and bonnet. But you had a go at the front wing, didn't you? Yeah, it didn't go too well, to be honest. What actually happened then? Uh, bad tools and bad wrap. It was a really dodgy. Uh... No, it's a lot harder than it actually looks. It's, uh, <laughs> it is a lot more it's harder. It scrumpled up when it was doing the, uh, you know, the squidgy type of thing which, as you're pushing it down. All scrumpled up. It didn't have to get pulled off because they weren't happy with their perfectionists. And uh, yeah, the guy did it himself again. Yep. But that goes to show you it isn't as easy as it looks. I just thought it was a case of banging it on, smoothing it down, cutting it. No. Skills, it, it, it's not like stickers or those um, little, um, you know, those little Spider Man packets where you yeah, have a little yeah, tattoo and you yeah. just stuck it on there. Bit not, of water. That's it, a bit of water. It's not like that. No, at all. not at all. No, not at all. But bonnet's been done. Yeah, the yeah. front started going black on the grill. Yep, yep. Just starting on that, as well as a couple of black bits as well, too. Better show you the wheels as well. Oh, where where yeah. are the wheels? The wheels are actually around here. Let's have a look at the wheels. So, these are Drahan wheels. Alloywheels.com. Allo buy alloywheels.com. Alloywheels.com. Thank you very much. Cheeky They've luggers. supported this. And yeah, multi spokes, no, 18s. Thank you for sorting it for me. Couple of calls, mates, and all that lot. Boom. No, exactly. It was, it was me. I sorted that out. I sorted the tyres out as well because tyres are very important. Very important. Very, very that's... important. But yeah, no, it's absolutely awesome. I can't wait to get it on with the wrap, with the, the black thing at the front, with the tints. Then I was just going to set it off completely. I can't wait for it to be done. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Transforming a Merc B class into something quite cool is a challenge altogether. What? It's true. It is, yeah. Take it from, it wasn't looking old before. Them yeah. wheels look dated and horrible, but yeah, the wrap, tint, wheels, it's just gonna make it, bring it into kind of like this century. Exactly. <laughs> so now we're gonna call it a day, for day one. Uh, stay tuned for day two. All right, and a situation update, day two on the B-Class. He's here. Polish my turd. Yeah, how to polish a turd. Or well, how to wrap a turd. Yeah, how to wrap a turd. But it does actually make it look, better, look much better. So obviously you start with a turd, you can do that to it, and make it look brand new. Uh, look, look. Black on the grill, doesn't that make it look much new? It does look, yeah, because right. this was all silver. Thank yeah. you. The colour, what it was before, look at the colour now, obviously to match the GTR. Obviously. Look better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously yeah. the biggest flag was obviously your doing. And yeah, it was my doing. Can't wait to get these on. I reckon this will make the massive difference. So you've got them, and then obviously what we've done to the... Uh... Alloyoils.com. So yeah. <laughs> Have a little look um, I've sprayed the you, had, you actually had a go at this, you know didn't what? you? There's some things I did on the car. I did all of them. Right. Yeah. And I wrapped that. You wrapped the wing room. I actually wrapped that. You're the first YouTuber to have come into Dub Customs Wrapping something. You, you like getting your hands dirty, don't I'm you? I'm a grafter, mate. You are it's a grafter. It's not just a pretty face. I actually do get my hands dirty. Skills to pay the bills. That's what that's all about. Did you do the trimming? Uh, e yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you did the trimming. Okay. Let's carry on. Let's okay. carry on. Let's carry on. Black roof. Make all right. it look sleeker. Yes, black roof. That looks nice. One touch right, that I really, really like is that. From a distance, yeah, it looks chrome, but it's actually two-tone. It's got the blue at the bottom, raspberry blue, yeah? And then they've left it chrome on there. Ingenious thing, just looks yeah. the part, looks really good. Let's, let's go. Um, finishing touches. Little finishing touches. Obviously, it's still not done as of yet. The boot lid's getting done, obviously, so as we moment, can see. Let's stretch on the canvas. Can, yeah. 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 Nice. Merc badge on, wheels on, jobs are good. I've been grafting on this for about two days now, I'm like, back. How do you feel? How's your fingers? Yeah, not too bad. I've literally just had to let these guys just take over because I just couldn't do it anymore. Literally, so they've just been on the go for the for the last 10 minutes, yeah? Yeah, just sat having a coffee, so do you mind, guys? Just finish off the boot lid. Yeah. yeah. They've been on a two-week holiday anyway, so yeah, yeah, they have. Oh. They have. So yeah, overall, I think it looks spot on. That is how to polish a turd. A turd. And be classy. Beeper. Actually, from a distance, let's let's come back here.
eat. Gas oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh more than that, I'm ecstatic. Literally to, to bring a car here in two days um, process to make it look like an old piece of turd. Thank yeah, you very honestly, much. you can't polish a turd, what most people would say. And the B-Class, let's face it, it's not a handsome looking car to start off with. But now, look at oh, it. It just now. looks absolutely, like I said, it's taken about 10 years off the car. To bring a car in that looks a bit, uh, I don't know, like a family wagon, an A to B car, to then transform it to something you actually be proud of, and that colour pops.